This is another video about the tripod method. I'll be explaining some new features to the method that I've added and some new techniques as well. So, um, as you may know, the tripod method involves um, basically solving everything except for these pieces, and that's the tripod configuration. And then from there, um, you solve a corner edge pair and you solve the last layer using algorithms. And this method involves very few algorithms because these are the only five pieces that use algorithms to solve. So to reach the tripod configuration, there are many ways you can do this. Um, if you prefer to do a few move solve, you can first solve a 2 by 2 by 2 block and then solve blocks here, here, and here. And then you have your tripod here. Um, but if you want to go faster, I, I personally find it faster to do a Friedrich first two layers minus one corner edge pair, then construct a block on top, and then you have your tripod. So that's what I'll be doing right now. So to do our Friedrich first two layers, we have to first make our cross. I'll do that right now. I'm going to do the white cross because white has really good... Um, recognition because white's a really bright color. Um, there's my white cross on the bottom and obviously match this up right here. Okay so now we solve our three corner edge pairs. The unique feature about the tripod method is you can store a corner edge pair that's going to be in your top layer block um, in one of the slots while you're solving the other corner edge pairs. So right here I see a corner edge pair which can potentially be in a block in the top. So I can temporarily store it into this slot. And it stays in there while I'm solving other corner edge pairs. So here's my first one and my second one. And sometimes it'll come out while you're solving it. Um, if you solve um, the corner edge pair which is supposed to go there so like if I were to solve the blue and red one then this would come out but um, if you're careful you can prevent that so I have my three corner edge pairs and I have stored this um, corner edge pair with two yellow stickers for my block in the next step so now that I have my um, first two layers uh, minus one corner edge pair I form my block in the top layer. You can make um, the block doesn't have to be the one that's right here it can be the one here or here doesn't matter because you can conjugate it um, to be the correct configuration for the tripod. So I have my yellow corner edge pair here um, that I conveniently s uh, preserve during the last step. So now I have my block and I put it in the back, right here. And we have our tripod. So for the tripod there, um, you have to solve one corner edge pair right here. And to do that, you have to use an algorithm, a mini algorithm called FryFry. And FryFry is simply right inverted, front, right, front inverted. Um, it's basically the only move you can do without breaking anything up. And to use FryFry um, in a useful manner, you have to learn all the cases. And there are about um, at least a dozen or so. You just um, learn where the pieces are and how they can be paired up using FryFry. So right now, using FryFry, I'm going to pair up this piece and this piece. So I know that the case um, to pair them up, I first have to do fry fry in this orientation, and then I have to do it in this orientation. So here I have my corner edge pair. And um, now I put it into the correct place, which is right here. Um, and as an optional step um, or technique, you can simultaneously orient these two edges, the top layer edges while you're placing this corner edge pair. So right now, I know that um, if I turn it like this, 
I will have preserved, uh, well, oriented these two edges. Um, but um, if I had done it differently, they would not have been oriented. So for example, like that's not oriented because I didn't put the corner edge pair in correctly. So uh, it's possible to orient the edges, basically. OK, so now that we've reached our last layer, we only have five pieces that we have to solve. And right now I have a simple case, just a corner cycle. And uh, that solves it. Um, if you've oriented your edges during the previous step, and then you only have to learn, um, you have to learn 17 algorithms if you know how to do commutators. If you don't know how to do commutators, that's um, several more algorithms. But um, to master it and do it in one algorithm, it's um, very achievable. Unlike um, if you had a full last layer to solve, you'd have to learn a thousand algorithms, which nobody wants to do. So that's the end of this uh, demonstration of the tripod method. Thanks for watching.